Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be looking at the Bitcoin chart together here. Uh, I want to start off by apologising with the little bit of static and the poor quality of the microphone. Um, I asked you if you wanted this update, everybody wanted it, so here it is. Of course I am right now over in Hawaii. Uh, enjoying literally if I had put on the webcam right now you would see the view I've had to close the door because obviously it's a little bit noisy with that door open but this is the view that we're chilling at right now just this is, this is perfection you know you wake up open your eyes you see this it gets you in the mood it gets you in the mood for one of two things and one of those things is yes trading and that's what we're going to be going through today the trades living the best life obviously i have been traveling around for the past uh just under one month uh it's been pretty crazy i'm actually back on the charts with you every single day as i have always been in well just under two weeks in just under two weeks i will have my house built i will have my stuff inside it and i will be ready and back as you have come to love i know a lot of people really are missing me i have, have a I, I i i see it i feel it a lot of people are missing me i miss you too as well as i truly do miss the charts and so yeah less than two weeks i'll be back as you absolutely really want <laughs> so you've got that to look forward to in the meantime you know i'm a bit sporadic of course enjoying these types of views um with that said let's get over to what you wanted and that was the bitcoin update on how i am trading this right now so um I really hope you've been paying attention to the other updates that the coaches have been. Of course, Chart Champions is much bigger than just myself anymore, okay? We have a whole bunch of coaches alongside me to help teach you and aid you in the progress of your trading. And of course, Victor has actually done some really legendary <laughs> public videos over the past week, okay? Specifically, he gave you the first, he gave you the harmonic Okay, up the top here when we were looking for those shorts around forty-seven thousand dollars, and one of the major targets was the first six one eight before this low to this high. Then obviously the overall CC. I will just add on this overall CC so nobody is confused. I really hope you watch Victor's update if you haven't. But um, obviously from the low of the original harmonic up to the high there, you bring this across. And we can see we came right into the CC. We also have this lovely upward sloping channel. We come down to the low of the channel on the CC and the icing on the cake, ladies and gentlemen. This was our biggest level. Have we have, have we as you uh, as we're going to add on right now? It was of course the weekly level of support. So we can see here we have three major levels of confluence: the CC, bottom of the channel, bottom of the channel on the weekly. Okay, and yes, I have been inactive. I acknowledge that, but guess what? I had an alert on the weekly. I have my alerts go off, and the first thing I'm doing is coming over to the group and saying and reminding people the weekly has held for the first touch here. This was back on the 26th. Okay, we're now on the 28th, so two days ago. We hit the weekly. I actually done a champions live stream the Sunday prior where I laid out a harmonic pattern. And this was our first area of interest. Of course, we could go down to the 786, but this weekly on the CC on the channel was definitely an area of interest. What actually happened was we hit that weekly. Let me show you this. As we, uh, reminding you once again, posted that in the group weekly for a first touch. People seem to think what I post is magic. So they take very close attention to everything that I post. So we come down on the 15 minute chart. I want to show you this, how perfect it was. This right here is the first touch of the weekly. Yeah, let's zoom in even more so you can see this perfectly. This right here is the first touch of the weekly that zoom in zoom in zoom in you see this really quick move down move down move down move down top of the cc weak bounce here was the weekly touch with a bounce of the weekly okay so that was the first touch of the weekly you then got a retest you see here you got a retest in terms of hours i'll tell you exactly uh, we're talking about three hours later you got a retest of that level and the low was not taken out by the way the low was not taken out so if you longed any of that retest OK, you could have simply, you know, if you wanted to, for example, you could have had a stop below the low or you could have taken it off of the secondary bounce, giving you a really clear invalidation. Another entry trigger could have been after the trend change, low, high, higher, low. Here you make your higher high. Obviously, you grind up along the VWAP. OK, and this isn't going to load. You grind up along the VWAP and then, well, you kind of get a bigger move to the upside. OK, get this big move to the upside. You put in once again a range and off of that range, you get a, another move to the upside. 
Okay, you might be wondering right now, why did we reject? Well, well, we haven't really rejected per se, but we've obviously seen a little bit of a pullback over the past few hours here. You can see here, a bit of a pullback over the past few hours. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, Daniel, why did Bitcoin bounce where it bounced? I told you this, it was because of the weekly on the 26th when we hit it. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Daniel, why did we pull back over the past few hours? What was the reasonings for this? Well, I'm about to explain that to you right now as well. Once again, this morning, I actually posted in my group at 8 a.m. Okay, so we're talking several hours ago. This is a nice take profit one now if you long to the weekly for a swing trade. Guess what we hit into? We hit into that point of control. That was while we were above $40,000 at 8 a.m. this morning, reminding people, hey, if you took the long of the weekly, if you took that for the swing trade, now's a nice take profit one. Does this mean that we are going to have hit that point of control and it's down from here? Potentially, of course. That's why we take profit one. But it's also just as likely that we can that we can continue the uptrend here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, this is a game of trading. This is a game of probabilities. There are no certainties. I'm not going to come here and say, we are. We have definitely seen the low at the weekly. This is 100% the low. We are going up from here. Everybody needs to get involved right now or you're going to miss the trade. I'm not going to tell you that to you because we're below the point of control of the range. This is a significant level within this trading setup. Just as I'm not going to tell you, this is 100% the high. The point of control is the massive resistance. There's no way we're going higher. Of course, we're going to reject from the point of control and go down lower. I'm not going to tell you that because, of course, we can break that point of control. We've tested it once. We've got a bit of a pullback. Guess what? People are taking profits here, hedging their bets. Okay, but the more times we test this level, if we continue to test it, the weaker the level gets. More likely we break through the more times we test it and we can edge up towards our bigger levels of resistance. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a very, 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 very important thing that I truly need you to understand. We are in a game of probabilities. People love at the moment to come in and, you know, do X, Y and Z. I just want you to focus on the charts, focus on the levels and just remind you one more time. We look at these high levels of support weekly three plus levels of confluence it's a decent long okay it's a very decent long for a potential swing trade okay just like when we're looking for the take profits off of that you know this is a big bounce you know we're talking about about a six percent rise to the upside okay from the absolute low of that weekly um let's do this together from the low of that weekly there up to the absolute high we're talking about 6.8 but you know about a seven percent bounce okay anybody moaning about a seven percent bounce doesn't understand trading to be honest with you it's a really good move if this is the high hey take profit one stop loss to entry you know that this reassess the situation if it does reject from here if we can reclaim this level then of course we're going to be looking up to that value area high significant level up to the daily obviously the cc from high to low as well big level we don't want to forget about that one do we um but yeah this was the quick update that i wanted to give you uh of course i am <laughs> i am basically traveling the world right now i'm actually going to be heading to south korea shortly uh <laughs> done the uh chart champions meet up in san diego shout out to all the champions by the way we actually had a really big group of us we had over we had about 20 to 25 champions turn up in san diego california uh everybody like i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to post some pictures because it was absolutely amazing but yeah done some chart champions meet up met some champions heard their stories you know just connecting with the community i absolutely love it obviously people saying i'm crazy for moving to Colombia, a white boy gonna get killed um you know i'm loving life i'm literally loving life loving every single second of it i have not lost my passion some people saying daniel's lost his passion for trading my passion for trading continues i love trading but guess what i also love to meet people i love to live life i can do everything i can do both of course, for the next two weeks, I'm remaining inactive. Why? Because the house that I actually bought is a brand new house built from scratch. Uh, two weeks and it, fingers crossed it's ready. If it's not ready, well, I'm still going to be working, but, for, but from a place... Yeah, anyway, that's kind of irrelevant. I'll be back in two weeks, whether it's in my house or in a temporary place inside of the country. Um, fingers crossed it's ready, but nevertheless... Um, yeah, that's it. I will see you all. Maybe I'll do an update before that. Two weeks i'm back on the charts every single day i love trading i love you if you could see my face right now it's got a massive 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 smile i know some people 
uh, are just going to smile with me with that. So thank you ever so much. I hope this has been helpful for you. I'll remind you one more time, the reason we bounced was not because of the weekly on the ES. The reason we bounced was because of the weekly on Bitcoin. The reason we have pulled back slightly here could turn into something bigger, but it was the point of control of the range. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get the lows, that's how you get the highs, and that's how you do it along with me, chartchampions.com. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have, you know what to do. Smash that like button, and uh, I just will send all my peace, all my love. But the, for the people that have stayed loyal, for the people that have stayed with us, um, you know, you, you, I love you. I love you. For the people that have been Judas, hey, I love you too. Everybody, is, it's, a, it's a free world. I love everybody. Peace out, everybody. And enjoy yourself. Just enjoy life. Live life to the max. Live life Oh, to the max. And if you ever get the chance to see me in real life, come over and say hello, because I will give you an absolute big hug. Thank you ever so much. And with that, peace out, everybody. I'll see you over inside of the Discord. Cheers. Goodbye.